What advice would you give to others who are also trying to lose weight and fight obesity? Well, for starters, the easiest thing to do is to not let it happen. So if you're uh, a parent of a young child, if you're, if you're a younger person and you realize you're gaining weight, the easiest thing to do is stop it now. You know, we have such a tough culture where we've made the worst foods uh, inexpensive and easy to get, and certainly very tempting. You know, all the end caps at the stores as you check out by the cashiers, all the worst stuff in the world that you can have. And, you know, boy, it's kind of funny too because it tastes good when you first eat it, but you never feel good after you eat it. You always feel terrible later on. I mean, what I've realized is that I feel much better eating cleaner and greener foods. So, number one, don't let it happen. You know, try to stop it or try to stop it along the way before it even gets worse. But number two, you have to be realistic and you have to operate from that position of information and you have to operate from that position of actually having data and real science behind what you're doing. So many people I know um, think that I can conquer this problem with exercise. That's not true at all. 90% of it is your diet. 10% of his exercise, and the two can't work without each other. It's an interesting machine that, that those two components, the diet and the, and the exercise, they, they can't successfully help you lose weight without each other working together. You have to be able to move, move your body, get your heart rate up, and you have to be able to uh, change the way you're eating. So you have to start there with some real information, and real understanding of how everything works. And you have to understand that um, it's going to be a long, hard struggle. And, and I think one of the best things in the world to do is to tell everybody that you need their support mm -hmm. and to go ask people for their support. In a way, it makes you accountable to them because now you've reached out to them and you said, hey, I'm going to go lose weight and I need to lose weight. I recognize that I've got an issue, so I'm starting today or I started this, this year or I'm going to start with phase one. And just continuously working at it and making sure that you're telling people because they're going to reach out to you from time to time. Hey, how's it going? And sadly, they may even reach out to you when you're at lunch and you're having a giant calzone and they, they may say, hey, is that on the diet? What an awful thing to hear. It's the worst thing in the world that you want to hear. Nobody wants to hear that, but it's true. And if it keeps you from eating the calzone, so much the better. So, you know, uh, a big problem that I see when I talk to people now, because I do have this this issue where I do mentor or guide some people, some people ask me for advice, is they'll come up to me and they'll say, man, you know, I'm trying to lose weight. You've lost 200 pounds. You know, we've seen you do it over 10 years. How have you done it? And I'll tell them how I did it. You know, diet and exercise, it's a tough, tough thing to have to do, but you just have to keep doing it. And then I'll ask them and I'll say, what are you doing? And they'll say, man, I just, I've been eating chicken and I've been eating vegetables and I don't understand why I'm not losing weight. And I'll sit there and I'll think to myself, knowing how science works and how the body works and diet works, and I'll think, how much chicken are you eating? Are you putting anything on it? What's the story with the chicken? Only to find out that the chicken was fried and from a fast food joint and the vegetables were cooked in loads of batter, sometimes even fried or starchy themselves like corn or potatoes. Well, that's not going to work you have to just decide this is going to be a zero bullshit game.